What's the difference between a show quality restoration and a concourse restoration like on this 1961 Austin Healey? Well, on a concourse restoration, the goal is to not only be show quality, but to also be very visually correct uh, in its factory presentation down to the most minute detail. So here the goal is to not only be visually accurate, uh, but to be visually stunning. They're equally important goals. Now, my second question is, what can make one concourse restoration better than another concourse restoration? Where everything is otherwise equal. Well here, the only thing that can separate the two is, who did the restoration? Was it done by a mark specialist, someone who's known throughout the uh, country and perhaps even the world as a, a specialist in a particular restoration and uh, respected for their work and their, their, as master craftsmen? Well, in the case of the 61 Austin Healey, the answer is a resounding yes. This car was restored by uh, Tom and uh, Randy Rock out of uh, Riverside, California, the owners of Healey Lane. And they did an absolute masterpiece work here. Yeah, you can learn all about Tom and Randy Rock. Just go Google their names and uh, you'll see the respect that the marketplace gives their cars. You'll see Austin Healey's selling from $100,000 to $200,000. That's a lot of respect. Well, here in just a minute, we're going to start this Austin Healey up and you can hear the intoxicating signature note that an Austin Healey makes. I, I absolutely love the sound and we'll drive it. And you can see that this thing is art in motion. But first, take, a time, take time to look at the pictures. Uh, the detail on this car, the beautiful, incredible paint job, the flowing lines on the body, the, the beautiful components added. I, I call it gingerbread, the badges and the bright work that just accentuate everything so perfectly and the beautiful interior. It's really a work of art and it truly is a testament to the master's touch. The restoration is cr absolutely impeccable. Under the hood, under the car, no matter where you look, it's car jewelry. Take a look at this stunning engine bay. This is the, uh, this is Austin Healey's big six. You've got 2,912 cc's of go power, twin SU carburetors. Uh, this car was fast. Motor Magazine uh, tested this thing at 115 miles per hour. Let me tell you, in 1960, that was fast. It's just, stunning under here. This color of this motor, it probably is my favorite motor color I've ever seen. And then the red here, and I just love it. It's just a, it's a work of art. Uh, I could probably stare at it for 30 minutes looking at all the details. It truly is beautiful. This car has, of course, the girling disc brakes. They all did, but this one also has the optional overdrive gearbox. That's, uh, that makes a difference, especially on uh, high-speed road trips. And well, let's start it and listen to it. Turn the key on, push the start button. Wow, that's smooth as glass. Look at that. Well, let's work our way around to the end and hear it. Well, okay, this is the idle sound and the torque sound going down the road is uh, entirely different, uh, even more exciting, and we'll experience that in here in a minute. Well, we're almost ready for that test drive, and I cannot wait for you to see these colors when the sun hits them. This paint just comes alive. It's stunning indoors, but wait till you see it outdoors. And I almost failed to mention, this is something, this is important, this is wonderful to have. Uh, what this is, it's a uh, documentation file, if you will, kind of a recipe book, what was done to the car, pictures of the restoration in detail. Um, and the British Heritage Trust certificate, basically telling uh, about this car when it was originally built. And uh, this type of stuff is invaluable. It's just great to have and it comes with this car. All right, let's fire it up and let's go on that test drive. Yep. I love these cars. The first one I had was uh, 1980. Um, they were, the last Healy was then 13 years old and but they were never, never cheap. Uh, I, I could afford a TR3, barely, easily afford an MGA, but an Austin Healey was almost always out of reach, even though I've had several and had one while I was in college. Well, here we go.
another beautiful day in Texas. We have a lot of beautiful days in Texas. A lot of great convertible weather. And uh, certainly this is a great day to be in a beautiful Austin Healy. And we'll go through the gears a little bit so you can hear the sound of this awesome motor. A taxiway here on a little private airport. And in fact, this particular airport is the largest repository for classic airplanes in America, they say. And so I get to see beautiful classic airplanes on a daily basis and actually a lot of classic cars too. Uh, if an airplane hangar door is open, I'm always looking inside to see what might be stashed in there because usually it's something pretty good. couple of classics right here. I don't know if the camera will pick them up or not, or not as we go by, but uh, they're definitely out here. This is so fun to drive. Everybody should at least once in their life experience Austin Healey ownership. Uh, there are a reason, there's a reason this car has a cult following. It's just the lines are just beautiful. You know, different people like different cars for different reasons. Uh, the Austin Healey, you can have a lot of reasons that people would agree on, and certainly beauty is one of them. But one of them, that one reason that most people wouldn't know because they've never driven one is it's a blast to drive. Great open air cruising, and it, people just love seeing it. It's art on wheels as it goes by, and you know, the the lines, the body lines on this car just do it for me. Uh, whether you're a two-tone person or not, the two-tone I think is stunning. They had some of these in solid colors as well and they were beautiful too. Well, thanks for coming along. I hope you enjoyed that as much as I did. Uh, come back soon.